You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Vietnamese ambassador to Cambodia, Noi Hu Chang, has vowed to further develop cooperation with Cambodia. He has met with the Cambodian National Assembly President, Heng Sam Rin, on Tuesday. He has also praised the royal government's success in the vaccination campaign, which makes Cambodia a safe place for tourists. EAC news reporter Ria Soka has the story. The newly appointed Vietnamese ambassador to Cambodia, Nguyen Hoi Tang, has met with the National Assembly President Heng Sam Rin on Tuesday morning. The ambassador has praised and congratulated the royal government of Cambodia for its development. He has also lauded Cambodia with its success in the vaccination campaign against COVID-19, which leads the kingdom to great success, specifically being able to fully reopen the country, becoming a safe place for tourists. He has also expressed his gratitude to Cambodia for its support to Vietnam, especially for providing COVID-19 aid. The Vietnamese ambassador has vowed to the National Assembly President Heng Sam Rin that he would do his utmost to further develop cooperation with Cambodia in the fields of diplomacy, society, economy, trade, agriculture during his diplomatic mission in the kingdom. He says, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, Cambodia and Vietnam's trade has increased steadily, with Cambodia importing more to Vietnam. On his side, the National Assembly President has stated that the role of Nguyen Hoi Tang as the ambassador of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam to Cambodia is very important to enhance the existing friendly relations and good cooperation between the two countries. Cambodia, Vietnam, even better in another level. He has commended the cooperation of the two governments in all fields, bringing benefits to the two nations and its peoples. In addition, National Assembly President Heng Sam Ren has thanked the government of Vietnam for providing $25 million for the construction of a new administrative building to the National Assembly of Cambodia. They are still in the process of selection construction companies, as many have submitted bids, including Vietnamese companies. He has confirmed that the construction of a new administrative building of the National Assembly, with the help of Vietnam, is scheduled to open in early 2022. Raya Soko, EAC News.